Hello, in this video we're going to do two graph-based problems that deal with consumer surplus. Here we have two demands, demand one and demand two. We want to calculate consumer surplus at a price of $30 for demand one. Consumer surplus is the area where the demand curve lies above the price line. That's going to be this area right here. It's going to be an area of a triangle. Area of a triangle is one-half base times the height. So for the demand curve one, consumer surplus is going to be given by the following. We've got a base here of 50 minus 30, and we have a height here of 10 minus 0. So we're going to get 20 times 10 is 200, and then half of that is $100. So consumer surplus here for demand curve one is going to be $100. We'll notice that total consumer spending here is going to be just the price times the quantity purchased. So with demand curve one, the price was $30, and consumers bought 10 units, so they spent $300. The maximum willingness to spend minus the total consumer spending will be consumer surplus. So we know consumer surplus here is $100, so I'll set the left-hand side equal to 100. We know that consumers spent $300 on these 10 units, so we can back into the maximum willingness to spend on all of these 10 units. So the maximum willingness to spend then, adding 300 to both sides, solving this equation, adding 300 to both sides, is $400. In other words, consumers were willing to spend $400 on these 10 units. That's what they valued them at, but only spent $300, the actual level of spending. The difference between the two numbers is $100 of consumer surplus. All right, let's move on to problem two. Consumer surplus, we're told, is $860 for demand curve two. What is the vertical intercept for the demand curve two? So where does this demand curve touch the vertical axis, or sometimes called the demand choke price? Consumer surplus, once again, is given by this formula. We know that consumer surplus is $860. We don't know where the demand curve touches the vertical axis, so we're going to call that A. We do know that the, the price here is $30. And the quantity purchased here is 20. So plugging those values in and now simplifying. Uh, cross multiplying here, 2 times 860 gives us 1,720. And then 20 times A here, and then 20 times negative 30. We get the following result. Adding 600 to both sides, and now dividing through by 20. The vertical intercept where this second demand curve touches the vertical axis is going to be at $116. What is the equation for this demand curve, the second demand curve? Well, the equation for a linear demand curve is price equals the vertical intercept minus the slope of that demand curve times quantity. We know the vertical intercept is 116. We can solve for the slope here uh, by doing rise over run. So when we go from the vertical intercept to the price, okay, you got 30 minus 116. And then when we move over from 0 to 20 over here, the number of units that consumers buy, uh, we'll have 20 minus 0 in the denominator. Simplifying, we get a slope of minus 4.3. So putting everything together, this is the equation for the demand curve 2. Okay, that's it.